Hello, uh, my name is uh, Vishal Rain. In this video, I would like to talk about the loft tool in the surfaces menu. Uh, for that, we need uh, the curves. So, I'm using a NURB circle. Or maybe I'll use a CV curve tool with the default settings. I'm just creating a curve. I'm not really bothering about uh, uh, how the curve is built I'm just uh, creating um, I'm just uh, I'm talking about the num number of spans uh, what these dif different curves has I'm not bothering about that I'm just creating three different curves here so I'll be moving these curves uh, vertically up and then we have uh, three different curves nicely placed Okay, uh, so I need to select uh, one after the other, the curve here, and then go to the surfaces, and we have loft option. So uh, initially, we'll talk about this option called output geometry. Uh, so in Maya, we have majorly nerves, polygons, and uh, subdivisions. So we have here. Uh, basically nerves and polygons on which type of geometry you want them to be created uh, you can choose any one uh, among them so right now this model is getting created in nerves uh, let's uh, create that in the nerves only and then uh, apply the loft then you see uh, a geometry has been sweeped between the three curves what I have created and if you notice, uh, the, the curve line spacing uh, is not uh, so uniform. Some patches are big, some patches are very thin and uh, not a good uh, variety. Now if you see carefully, I select these curves and go to the display, nerves and edit points. The spacing uh, here and the number of spans here for the three curves is different so if I open the attribute editor this is a six span curve this is a five span curve this is a six span curve so I'm selecting these three and then I'm using the rebuild curve and then I'll apply some seven spans and then rebuild and all curves will have the same number of span count and then when we apply the loft tool with the default settings now you see the spacing is so uniform there so when we are making loft it is very important to create the curves with equal spans uh, it is uh, the recommended way so from edit point to edit point you get the lines there and uh, if you just uh, check into this option called span count you see uh, from one curve to another curve the spans are 2 if I increase that to 3 now span count is 3 now how about these spans these spans are based on the curves edit points so you can't you don't have any option uh, there in that matter so let's see uh, the parameterization setting here we have uniform and chord length so if you see here we have a uniform option so we'll try that first so I select uh, these three curves here uh, one after the other and then I apply loft and uh, when I select this surface and then go to the display nerves and enable surface origins you see the u direction is running running along the curve and the v direction is running through the parallel curves which you have taken on the loft so this is the pattern in most of the lofts which you create so v direction will be through the loft not in the profile curve so the profile curve gets the u direction and the parallel curves will get the v direction and if you see the parameterization value u value which is the length of the curve 
has got a parameter ranging between 0 to 1 whereas the v direction is getting uh, 0 to 2 why because I have got two spans with uh, basically 1, 2 and 3 curves now if you see here I have got two spans and I got the maximum value of 2 so how about uh, these three or uh, four curves so I am selecting the four curves and then I am selecting the love tool now you will have uh, the parameter of the u which is again 0 to 1 along the curve the, the range is 0 to 1 while I have got four curves ending up with three span geometry has got a parameter ranging between 0 to 3 so when you are creating the loft tool with the parameterization set to uniform this is what happens the u value will range between 0 to 1 and v value is based upon how many curves you have taken and how many spans it is making okay the next thing is we have the chord length so I select these three curves and then I apply the geometry then enable the surface origins again now if you see uh, the u value is bet between 0 to 1 but the v value is 7.3 why is that because it is giving the parameterization based upon the length of the geometry there okay we got 10.8 here we got 7.3 so it depends upon that so we have the two settings here in the love tool so let's see the auto reverse option I am switching off the auto reverse option off here and then I am selecting these four curves and I am just applying the geometry now you see the geometry is uh, very weird uh, it's just twisted through the length of the loft there the reason for that is the curve here is having the starting point here and this curve having the starting point like that and this curve again having the starting point from there and here there's opposite so when I'm selecting that between these two the geometry is start uh, I mean created from here and then instead of connecting there it's going to that point because maybe this is a start point of this curve and this is start point of that curve so if I generally say auto reverse then it will uh, consider these two curves having the same side state uh, start point alternately you can select the curve and then you can go to the curves and then say reverse direction and then even though you have auto reverse option off you can create the geometry now here again there is a twist so I can just select the curve and apply reverse direction and then you get the geometry there okay and uh, we have this option called close I'll click that option and then close you see there is a geometry which is starting and I mean it is started here and then went along the loft and then it is connecting back okay uh, it's making the loft a periodic uh, instead of a um, open one now if you select the surface here this is open but when I select the curve and then choose the close option and then you have the periodic form in the V direction there so it's closing the shape okay so that's the close option so we have a, a, a degree of the curve we have linear and cubic if I take the linear I get the straight geometry I just have to uh, switch this back to normal and uh, I will duplicate the curves select them and then choose the cubic now you see the cubic is a more smooth curve and the linear is the hard curve and uh, we have the spans count here which we can even control after we have created the model there and uh, we have a complete range uh, we have partial range 
uh, for that I'll be deleting the loft and I'm selecting all of them and then I'm choosing uh, instead of complete I'm using the partial and then create the loft now we have four curves involved in the loft and we can go to every particular curve and then control them so here we don't uh, we are not able to you know switch to that but I select the curve and then find out one option here called uh, sub curve 1 sub curve 2 sub curve 3 sub curve 4 because I have got four curves here so if I choose sub curve 1 it has a value of 0 to 1 I can choose between 0 to 0 0.5 or maybe I can choose between 0 0.25 to 0 0.75 so in the curve I am using only the partial or part of it uh, for the loft there and mostly we can animate that values if you want so I'll just put that to 0.5 and then go to sub curve 2 uh, sub curve 3 sub curve 4 and then you see even in the loft only the part of the curve is involved in the loft so it's a very useful tool uh, in animating things or creating uh, patches of model with this